But we planted this field, uh, it's been here about four years, and as you can see, it's producing excellent forage, uh, tremendous amount of yield on a per acre basis. Pat Kaiser is looking over a successful experiment. The UT Institute of Agriculture's Holston Farm includes fields of big blue and little blue stem and Indian grass, native species high in nutrition and drought tolerant, once common throughout Tennessee. These forages have been disappearing, but Kaiser and colleagues and students are working to reestablish these native grasslands. Well, one of the things we do is, is we plant them to start with because they're, they're largely gone from our farm, so we need to kind of help bring them back. Uh, once they're planted, the, the maintenance really is fairly simple. We just have to make sure that we don't graze them too close. Here's who's doing the grazing or the harvesting of those native grasses. Kaiser likes to say cattle farmers are grass farmers first, needing forage to feed their herds. UTIA partners in native grasslands research with the Natural Resources Conservation Service and Tennessee Farm Bureau, which has provided nearly 2,000 cattle for this program. That's the main reason we grow forages, for livestock, but there are other important reasons to maintain native grasslands. And there's a value to having these native grasslands back on our landscapes. Not only are they important for livestock production, we've looked at them for biofuels production, but they also have a lot of benefit for soil health, water quality, uh, wildlife conservation. More than half of Tennessee's farms grow forage, and we have 50 million acres of pasture and hay in the southeastern U.S. alone. Growing high-quality forage is critical to our ag economy. Well, in Tennessee, forage is, is certainly widespread. It's our largest agricultural enterprise in terms of acres, dollars it produces through the livestock. Most forage in Tennessee is tall fescue, but it will go semi-dormant when the heat of summer arrives. Native species are a great complement to fescue because they're summer grasses. And if we maintain and enhance native grasses, they will thrive on our farms for decades. This is Chuck Denny reporting.